Tom Brady, after we talked on the Tuesday show, uh, he officially retired on Tuesday morning. <laughs> it's, of course, timing is everything. But uh, this was, you know, after all the stuff from the weekend, he came out and he thanked Jason Light and Bruce Arians and the Tampa Bay organization and the city of Tampa, everything that had to do with the Buccaneers. And he did not mention the New England Patriots one time in this thousand words that he used to officially announce his retirement. I, I got to say, there are a lot of people that were really fired up about this. Robert Kraft apparently was super fired up. Apparently, Foxborough was not a great place to be after this came down because everybody was kind of pissed off about it. But I look at it, and there was like a huge goodbye and whatnot from Tom Brady when he left New England. So isn't this just the next goodbye? I that's, I don't know that's why. The reason, that's the reasonable answer, by the way. Right. That's the answer. Is he just two years ago said all the things that Patriot fans were wanting to hear again? And I understand we got 20 years of the relationship, they got two. So, in the final goodbye, they get everything. Like, I get the frustration and the annoyance as things have gone on, as it's progressed. Um, you know, I, I fully understand their frustration, but I also understand at some point in time, like, it becomes weird when you just keep thanking the same people over and over again. Yeah, it's weird. The whole thing was weird. I I did not think that there was anything disrespectful in there by not thanking the Patriots. I didn't take it Patriots. disrespectfully. Yeah. And, the and only you... person I'm disrespected by any of this is Adam Schefter. And I still want that piece of shit thrown out a window. <laughs> That's 100% right. Because it, it took all the shine off of Brady announcing it. Yep. Like it's it, Then you were looking for it. It made right? ESPN zero more dollars. It helped his popularity, his stature in life, zero more reputable. It did nothing to benefit him or the company he works for in any way, shape, form, or fashion by ruining this moment. Agree. They gained nothing from it. All they did was shit on somebody else. It's it's terrible. And now, we've already been over that's this. Why I but that guy's a piece of shit. And I'll take the opportunity to say that every time I can. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.